Hi, I'm Alex from Wilkinson Cameras and this is the brand new OM System MZUCO Digital ED 150 to 600 F5 to 6.3 IS Super Telephoto Dust and Weather Sealed Lens. OM System are describing this as the new pinnacle of photographic reach and it certainly offers a lot of reach. As you can see, it is quite a beast. It actually reminds me a lot of the Sigma DGN uh, 150-600 sports lens for Sony. It's remarkably similar in both weight, dimensions, design and build quality. But of course, this is designed to be used on a micro four thirds sensor. And so really, you're getting a 300 to 1200 mm equivalent focal length. And it's compatible with teleconverters. So if you really wanted to, you could even make it a 600 to 2400 mil lens. Wow. Uh, by the way, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button so that other people will be shown it as well. Okay, let's run through some of the numbers. If you're not sure what I mean when I'm talking about crop factor or uh, equivalent focal lengths, then we do have a separate video on this. But in simple terms, this lens allows you to see really far away. On its own is 150 to 600 mil f5 to 6.3 or the equivalent of 300 to 1200 mil. With a 1.4 converter it's 420 to 1680 f7 to f9. With a two times converter it's 600 mil to 2400 mil f10 to f13. <laughs> <laughs> Would I use this lens with a two times teleconverter? Probably not, but you can, and that's pretty cool. Despite being a super telephoto lens, and of course a great wildlife lens, this also has impressive macro capabilities, with close focus down to 56 centimeters at the wide end, and 2.8 at the 600 mil fully extended end. With a 0.7 times image magnification, this is going to enable you to get impressive detail of small subjects without disturbing them. Now, if you're pairing this with the new OM1 Mark II, which we've also done a video on, so make sure you go and check that out, then you're going to get the full 8.5 stops of IS thanks to the OM1 Mark II's own IBIS system. But if you're using this with an older model, then you're still getting an impressive seven stops at the wide end and six stops when fully zoomed out. This means that it is a very viable option to use this handheld, despite the size of it and the focal length. I'm going to be using a mixture of handheld, tripod, and probably a bit of monopod today, uh, thanks to my ProMaster Chronicle tripod, which I nearly forgot the name of, uh, because that also converts into a monopod. Why? Uh, well, we're going to test the teleconverter options for you, but at 2400 mil, I definitely need a helping hand to help me frame up my shot. The lens weighs just over two kilos, uh, which also means that sometimes the monopod is just going to come in handy for just a bit of support, make it a bit easier to use. It isn't super heavy for a lens of this focal length, but it does start to feel heavy after a full day shooting. It's dust and splash proof. This is not a pro series lens, so you're getting IPX1 weather sealing as opposed to the higher IP53, which you'll find on some OM system or previous Olympus products. OM system are actually the only camera manufacturer who get official ratings, which I do like. It's nice to understand the limitations and therefore to be able to work within them. IPX1 means that this is protected from vertical drips. So you'll be fine in normal rainy conditions, but probably don't go out in the worst of the storms or sideways rain. The front element is also coated to repel dust and oil, which is always a nice feature. So let's take a look at the build, uh, starting with a feature that I really like. Uh, I like to see it on these long zoom lenses. It's the push-pull operation. This lens has been designed to both zoom with the standard twist, or you can just grab the front and zoom as well. On the side, you'll see a little switch here, which I don't know the official name of, so I am going to call it the tightness switch. This allows you to set the uh, tightness to be either smooth or tight, which just slows it down quite a lot, as you can see. 
or you can actually lock that entirely into position. So if you're tracking something fast or looking for something in particular, then having this set to smooth means that you can quickly choose a focal length or you can set it to a length in the locked position. If you're tracking something a bit slower, use the tight and then you're not going to accidentally take it out of frame. There's also an aperture ring towards the back and three custom buttons on the side of the lens as well. There's a built-in tripod collar, as you can see, with an Arca Swiss type foot on a standard. Also included is this large and pretty robust lens hood with the screw on design and it takes a 95mm filter, which is pretty standard for this size of lens. It's made up of 25 elements in 15 groups, which combines four Super ED and two ED elements within that. So this should ensure edge-to-edge -edge sharpness with minimal chromatic aberration across the frame. And that's the main details of this new Super Telephoto lens for OM system. It's a good lens and I have enjoyed using it, especially paired with the new OM1 Mark II. But at a UK launch price of 2499, is this going to be on your wish list or will you be looking at an alternative? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching as always. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to check out our other OM system reviews, including for the new OM system, OM1 Mark II.